Today we're going to talk about how to install DRV 8825s on the Big Tree Tech SKR Pro version 1.1. Now, a couple of things I need to review with you are the stepper ports. So we have our X stepper port, our Y stepper port, our Z stepper port, our E0 stepper port, our E1 stepper port, and our E2 stepper port. Now, keep in mind that the Z stepper port has two ports on it for driving the axis here and here for your NEMA steppers. So, in order to set this up, we have to actually understand what the settings will be for the jumpers. Now, we have three sets of pins here that run across four. We need to know how, what to do with those. And we also need to remove the pins that we're using for spy right here. So I'm gonna pop these out. So once we get this out, for the x-axis, I'm going to have to do the y-axis next. So before I can do that though, we need to know where the enable pin is located for this. So I'll show you what we're going to go through to do that. So to start with, I need to show you the pins underneath. Now the board is flipped over so everything's going to be reversed but I need to point out where the enable pin is documented. So I'm gonna pick one of these steppers. This is actually our second stepper for E2. And you can see the enable pin is labeled right here. Now it's also labeled here, 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 and here. And note the power supply is over here so when I flip this over, it'll make more sense. Okay, so now that we have it flipped back, we know the enable pin is going to be here, 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 and here. And that's very important. And the reason that I'm pointing it out is so that you know how to install the stepper driver. So let's take a closer look at what the manual has to say. So here is the SKR Pro version 1.1, and I have the manual turned to the page that we actually need to read. So this is for step dir mode. So note that we have a three volt set of pins that correlate to these. Then we have like reset M3, M2, and M1. Those are these pins here. Then we have our sleep pin, which is this one here, and then our three grounds over here. That's relevant, so I'll let you see what I'm trying to say. So it says to set the jumpers according to your micro-stepping settings, note the high level is connected to the above row of pins. And the low level is connected to the following two row pins. So what they're saying is the high level is the 3.3 volt. Now down here they talk a little bit more about what other jumpers we need to set. And as you can see, the reset and sleep pin need to be jumped in pink. And it says if you want to use a A4988 or an 8825 driver, it is necessary to short the two pins shown in the pink square with a jumper. If you're not using A4988 or 8825, the jumper needs to be removed. So we're going to need that in order to get our stepper to work. So the first thing we need to do is jump that reset pin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump the X1 right here, which is those two pins, and push that down. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing for Y, which is right over here. 
And so we're all set with that. Now we need to jump the regular pins. So we do need to do MS three, two, and one. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. We're gonna take a jumper and we're gonna go over to MS three, which is right here. And we're gonna push that down. Then we're gonna do two and then we're gonna do one. So here goes two gonna push that down and then finally we're gonna do MS 1 and that's how you set up the X stepper now we're gonna do the Y which is exactly the same so I'm just gonna repeat it so MS 3 MS 2 And then MS1. That's all you need to do for your steppers. So here's a close up of the DRV8825. As you can see on top, I've got heat fins already mounted on top of the chip. Now, also keep in mind there is a trim pod here for adjusting current. Now, when I say that, what I'm saying is. It's like a faucet for the amount of current or water, in this case it's electricity, flowing through the circuit. We're not going to calibrate it in this video, but I may do a video in the future to show you how to do the calibration. But for now, I just wanted to make you aware of that and just let you know that the factory probably calibrated it pretty good initially. So you probably might not ever need to change it. So I had to flip this over for the DRV8825 to show you where the enable pin is located. And as you can see in the upper left hand corner over here, the enable pin is EN. Another reference pin that you could use is the DR or excuse me, directory pin, which is DIR or the ground pin. That's a great way to line up your stepper drivers. And I need to remind you, if it's plugged in backwards, you may damage your SKR Pro version 1.0 and your stepper board. So always be highly aware of which pins you're plugging into what. Okay, now that we know where the enable pin is in the upper left-hand corner of the DRV8825, we need to insert it. And just to remind you, our enable pin on the board is located right here, as well as here for the Y axis. So I'm gonna flip this over and I'm going to align it like so. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit of pressure to put it in place. Now I'm gonna do the same with this, but I'm also gonna flip it over and verify where the enable pin is and then flip it back over and apply pressure as well. So that's all we need to do to set up the stepper drivers. Now to actually program it, what we're gonna need to do is take out the micro SD, which is located right here, and we're gonna need to insert it into the adapter right here. We're then gonna need to plug this into the computer because right now this board doesn't have the facility or hardware or software to connect to your computer so you may hear a beep when i insert this okay now that i have it inserted in the computer you can see that we have firmware.cur that's from the last load of firmware on the board so this is the current firmware so we need to actually update the firmware but we need to actually download it. So I'm gonna go over to my web browser and I'm gonna close out of this for a moment. And I already have open marlinfw.org on the download section. So I'm gonna click on the download here. And while that's downloading, let me let you know that no one is paying me or sponsoring me to do this tutorial. And I've purchased all of the equipment with my own money, but I will be placing Amazon affiliate links in the description for your convenience.
So I'm going to open this folder over here. I'm going to right click on the zip, extract all, and then click the extract button. And while that's extracting, I'll show you that we're using VS Code now. Now keep in mind that VS Code, I've done two tutorials in this tutorial list for this particular board on how to install it. So you shouldn't have a problem installing it. I do suggest using the newer instructions as they're more accurate because they've made changes. So I'm gonna go to VS Code over here. As we can tell, it's almost finished extracting. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna click on the Explorer in the upper left-hand corner here. Then we're gonna click on Open Folder. Then we're gonna click on the Marlin folder right here. And we're gonna select the folder. Now this will take a moment to open. While it's opening, let me point out a couple of things. First of all, we have our Marlin folder right here, which contains almost everything we need for our firmware. We have our configuration.h, our configuration advanced.h, and then we have our platform io.ini, which is used to pull stuff that we need for our particular build. We also have inside the source folder a pins folder. And inside the pins folder, down in one of these, we actually have our board listed so we can find the pinouts that are in the actual .h file. This is a header file. So you can see the pins right here on the right hand side. Those are the pins that are associated with pins on your board. They're also in your pinout diagram, which is available on the Big Tree SKR GitHub page. So I'm going to close out of this for now because it's not really relevant. And I'm going to show you how to set up the board. So we're going to go over to the core folder under source. Then we're going to go to boards.h. Inside boards.h, we're going to do a search on skr underscore pro. We're going to highlight that and we're going to right click and copy it. And that's all the information we need out of this particular file at the moment. This just lets us grab our board definition. And we're going to go over to configuration.h. Inside configuration.h, we're going to do a search on motherboard. And as you can see, the default motherboard is a RAMPS 1.4. We're going to highlight that whole entire string and right click and paste what we just copied. This will give us the correct board type that we're working with. Then we need to go to serial port and change this to a negative one. And then we need to set up our steppers. So I'm going to do a search on the A4988, which we're not working with. But I need to show you that because it's the quickest way to get to it. So I'm going to remove the comment for the X stepper, the Y stepper, the Z stepper, and for good practice we'll do E0, E1, and E2. And what this does is it enables our steppers. So I'm going to copy the DRB8825, which is the definition of our stepper. And I'm going to paste it in for X and paste it in for Y. And that's all you have to do for this part of the configuration. Down below, what we need to do is set up our default axis steps per unit. We're going to go over the web browser for a second, and we're going to do a search on rep wrap calculator. And we're going to click on the first link. So inside here, they give you a couple of ways to compute things. But what we're interested in currently is steps per millimeter on a belt-driven system or systems. 
As you can see right here, they talk about the default motor type that you'd be working with. In this case, it's probably 1.8 degrees of step for a NEMA 17. It's the most common type. Then your belt pitch is going to be 2, and it's probably going to be a GT2 belt, but you could probably select other ones if you're using them. I don't recommend it. And then your tooth count's probably going to be different. It may be 16, depending upon what's available, but this says 8. So over here, we have our micro-stepping. Now, we're not using a 1 16th step. We're using a 1 32nd of a step. So I'm going to select that. And then down below, it will display what the number of steps is for our particular configuration. So I'm going to copy that value. Then I'm going to go back over to VS Code. And for the 80 value, which is our X, I'm going to paste that. I'm also going to do it for our Y value. And that's all you need to do for that. Obviously, in RepRap Calculator, there's also something for setting the Z axis but I'll let you figure that out on your own. So after we have that set up, all we have to do now is go over to platformio.ini. And right now the default environment is set for the ramps 1.4. We're actually using an SKR with a different chipset or default environment. So we need to search on SKR underscore pro and here's our environment it's big tree underscore skr underscore pro so we're going to copy that then we're going to go back to the top of the file over here and we're going to paste it over the mega 2560 and that's all we need to do to configure for this particular configuration now we don't have an upload ability with this board at present with the hardware that we have connected. So we're gonna need to do a build or compile with the checkbox. So I'm gonna click on that and it should compile or build for us. Okay, now as you can see, the compilation or build has succeeded and it's the correct board. So we can check to see if we actually have a build now by going to .pio, then we're gonna to go to build, then to the Big Tree SKR Pro, and we're going to reveal in File Explorer. Then we're gonna navigate down into the folder, and we wanna grab firmware.bin, and we wanna send this to our SD card. So we're gonna right click, we're gonna to go to send to, and we're going to say SD card. So we can click on the SD card. And as you can see, it's now there. We're going to remove our micro SD and install it in the SKR Pro version 1.1. Okay, to install, we're going to remove the SD card. We're then going to place it in the drive down here for the micro SD and push it in. The next thing we need to do is actually move the jumper. So I'm going to move this over a pin so it's set for USB. And then I'm going to connect what's known as the serial USB cable. So I'm going to push it over here and I'm just going to connect the big end there. And the small end I'll connect to the computer which you may hear a beep. And watch for the flashing light over here because that will say that it's installing. Basically what's occurring is it's pointing to a section on the SD card that it knows to read so it will then install your firmware. So once that's complete, we're going to remove the serial USB and we're going to place the jumper back on the other two pins. So as you can see, I off-camera connected the power supply to the connectors here and I'm putting the safety guide back down. I'm going to connect the USB serial cable right here and then I'm going to energize the system with power from my 12 volt power supply. Now keep in mind now that it's energized you don't want to touch the board. So I'm going to go over to my desktop so I can open up 
print run. And inside here I have the executable for Pronterface. So I'm going to double click on that. Then I'm going to connect to the board. And as you can see right here, it says printer is now online. So I'm going to move the X stepper 10 steps and see what happens. Now I'm going to move the Y 10 steps and see what happens. And notice how it moved in the opposite direction. There's actually a setting in Marlin where you can invert the direction to figure that out so that it can go the other way. The other option is you can reverse the plug for it right here so that the green or black wire is on the opposite side when it's plugged in. And that's another way to deal with it. So I'm going to check to see if it'll move 100 no problem for X. And now I'm going to try Y for 100. So if you like my tutorial, please press the like button and subscribe. And thank you for your time.